Right. First things first with this is we'll get a the new o-ring for the cable and just put a bit of oil on it. So I'll feed you new o-ring down the fingers a wipe. And then basically get the cover, feed the cable through the the hole and then basically thread it on. Right, I'll just let that hang there for a minute and we're going to have a spanner there. I knew that was going to be the wrong size. There is a torque setting for this, but I'm sure it's something ridiculous like 5 Newton meters or something like that. Uh, Right, next thing is we'll we'll get all the mechanism inside put together. So what I shall do is I might just adjust this camera. Right, it'll move about, but I'm going to have to keep letting go to get parts. Right, first thing I'm going to put in is the bottom plate, but I want some oil on it. So, I'll just dab a little bit of lube in the, in the slots for the bearings. There's a slot in there and a notch on there and this just basically sits into that notch and sits in place. Right, I think the next bit I'll do, a bit of lube in the, the release arm itself. And on the little cable linkage, I'll just drop a touch on that. And in its slot, I know you can't see this, but you will in a second. Right, on the uh, cable linkage just feed the I'll try and do this so you can see feed the the little
There's a slot in the back of this, sits in and then locks the, the end of the cable into it. And then you've got your slot in here, which when you get it to a certain position, it just slots in and then you can spin it and let it hang free on there. I'm just going to hold that back out of the way for a minute and then we'll get the three balls and stick them in the ramp slots. So then what I can do is get that the right way around And keeping it sort of flat, just feed that in. Basically what that does is as it turns, it rolls on the balls and because they're sat in a ramp it lifts. Hence it releases your clutch and stuff. So I'm just going to rest that there a second because the next thing to go in is a circlip. So... The circlip, like most others, is flat on one edge, bevelled on the other, so you want your bevelled edge out. Get it so it's in the slot. Screwdriver. Right, once your circle clips in the slot properly, that's the cover pretty much ready to go on. So I'll just let that hang down there a minute. I'll move this camera back up. Right, you get a new gasket. Just put it in place over the dowels. And then you want your uh, your push rod. Oh, yeah. I'll just put some lube on this push rod. Gonna go in there, but I'll lube it up first. There's plenty of lube on this push rod. Just feed it into the tube, but not all the way. Push rod's been checked as well to make sure it's straight, which it is. Or I would have got a new one. Right, the next bit to go in is uh, is this little. PC, it's got an oil slinger on it. Uh, not all of them have the oil slinger, they just have the little washer. Uh, you've got a roller bearing on the end, well, more like a thrust bearing than out else. Um, and there's a little cup in that end that sits inside, when it's inside, sorry, it sits against the end of that push rod. So you want to put a bit of lube in the end of that. and lube the actual shaft itself and then a drop on the bearing and then just seat your cup into that and then just push it in Push it all the way up. Sit right on the end of there. 
Now that round bit in there sits inside the uh, the lever part. There's a, like a recess in the bit that goes up and down. Just in there, sits, that bit sits on there. So next step is just get your cover over, get it positioned on its dowels, give it a tap. That'll probably fly off in a second, but I just need to get the bolts. bolts are quite long as well and I'll just put a just a tiny drop of uh, blue Loctite on each one of these as I put them in right so line up the cover shoots on its dowels and then feed your bolts through and these bolts go right through the the trap door as well And actually screw into your gearbox case. And that, oh, I nearly put fucking oil on that one. Um, the torque setting for these is like sort of 16 newton meters. Right, so once you've got them all in, set your torque wrench for 16. And then basically torque them up. What I'll do is I'll just nip them all a little bit first.
Okay, I've lost the cover on. Let's get rid of some of this. Uh, some of this lube. Chrome cleaner will take all that off when I come to clean it properly. Right, the next step is get your your dipstick. Take the old seal off. You see it looking a bit ragged on the inside. And just get a new seal. Pick up over the threads. And then basically that just goes in, I'll just lightly screw that in. And for now, that's it with the release cover and everything. So I'll knock you off for now, we'll get on to the next bit. Right, we're going to put the inner primary case on, but before we do that, we're going to put the gear lever back on. Now, I've wedged a screwdriver in to the slit to open it up a bit because it's a nice, snug, tight fit. Now, when you take your gear lever off, you should have noted where it went. And mine was in line with the front of my uh, chrome cover. And when it's tightened up, that's where it'll be. So, I get the bolt in. Now that movement there that you that's not, that shaft isn't moving at all. It's just because the, the lever itself's a slack fit. Well, it wasn't until I bent it. Better. Just give that a final nip up. And I think I'll put that in gear. Right, now my lever's back on, we can, uh, I'll set the camera up in a different position and we'll start putting the, uh, the inner primary back on. <laughs> 